Während am Sonntagmorgen so langsam der Regen einsetzte und viele der Teilnehmer es eilig hatten, ihre Zelte abzubauen und den Heimweg anzutreten, habe ich mich noch in aller Ruhe mit Motorradreiselegende Ted Simon getroffen. Unser Interview, das seht ihr jetzt. So, um, it's a pleasure to be here with you today. And uh, it was a great weekend here at the Motorradreisetreffen in Giebaldehausen. It was very good, yes. yes. I hope you enjoyed it as yeah. well. Yes, very much. And yeah, it's a nice uh, opportunity to, to get uh, the possibility to talk to you a bit. And um, it is like um, you saw like 500 motorcycle travelers fulfilling their dreams, mm. uh, going out to the world, traveling countries many people don't go and um, I think you are a well experienced person in traveling and I think you saw a lot uh, of the world and I think you are a guy who, who, who has his own view on the world. So what is for you uh, specifically the, the thing about traveling? What is your What is, what is that, what gives you the antrieb? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> the, in a way, I've, oh, I've always had a lot of trouble answering questions like that because, um, because I can't understand why anybody needs to ask the question. <laughs> um, the thing is that I don't... I, I don't understand why people don't realize how good it is to be alive. I think people forget that they're alive. <laughs> and, they, and they spend all their time worrying about things that, 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 that really shouldn't matter. But anyway, um, the, the, the thing is that if you're, if you're alive on this earth, it seems obvious to me that you want to know as much about it as, as you can and about the people on it and just natural curiosity, it seems to me, would make you want to go somewhere and do something and have some experience of the, of, of the world. And, um, and so why, why does anybody need to ask uh, what, what the reason is to travel? What, I mean, the, the better question would be, why don't you travel? What, what, <laughs> what stops it? What, you know, why can't you do it? You know, what, 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 what is so... I mean, there, are, there is a man here today who's, who recovered from a terrible accident of paralysis, you know, And, and he's been fighting for nearly 10 years to get back on his legs so that he can do the things that we can all do without even having to think about it, you know, and, and so why don't we all do it? But I, I realize that, that, that people have, they, they get themselves tied up with commitments to, to houses, to to marriages, to children, to cars and boats and all the things that they collect around them. And, and to me, all of that is what stifles their interest in, in being alive on this earth. So my, that's basically my answer is that it, it, it's the, the passion that I have is really more reserved for the, the writing that I do. Um, I'm very lucky because I seem to have the ability to write about the, my experiences in a way that makes people want to read about it. And, uh, and, and that's because I am passionate about what I write. I, I'm very, very, very anxious that what I say is easily understood and, mm. and, uh, and that it gives a really good picture of, of what it feels like to be in different places um, at different times. But um, I, I, it, seems, it seems strange to me that traveling should be, or, or seeing, the, seeing the earth should be such a challenge. I mean, it's a, a natural thing for me to do. 
Yeah. So, it is your passion to share your experiences by writing, and um, you actually brought your new book with you. Yes. And there we can see a whole lot of photography from your travels. And is it your, your passion that makes you um, a happy person, or what is happiness for you? Yes, ha happiness for me is 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 to have is to have the freedom to do what I feel like doing. And uh, people have occasionally asked me why I think I'm still alive when other people my age are dead. <laughs> and I think, and I think it's really because, um, apart from my genes, which must be very good. Um, uh, apart from that, it's that um, that I don't let the world grind me down. You know, I don't. Um, at many times in my life, I've been in a position where I could have just got myself totally committed to something, so that I couldn't ever do, had no freedom to move or free. You know, uh, for a while I did do that deliberately because I thought I should try it. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but it's um, usually it, usually I'm I sp the way I live and the things I do are all things that I really enjoy. So um, that that helps that helps to make you make you free to to think and imagine things. Mm -hmm. um, imagination is a very important part of all this, and uh, and and I think imagination is something that actually can be. Um, if you if you're not born with it, you can acquire it. I mean, well, uh, people don't read enough. People don't um, d don't sp spend enough time entering into uh, the 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 experiences of other people and the thoughts of other people. And books used to be able to do that very well. And I don't think that the uh, the, um, the the in this world of images and 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 pictures, it's the same thing because you're not, you're, you're just looking at what is a superficial image on a screen or a, or a, or a book and you don't, you, you don't enter into the thoughts of the people who are, who are on this. Um, very, very little thoughtful stuff appears on, on screens. You have to, uh, you, you need a, a writer to tell you to lead you into the, the, the thoughts of, of, of people and to the meaning of things. Mm -hmm. So most, most of what I do when I'm, uh, when I'm traveling is thinking about what does, it, what, what does it mean, what's the importance, what's the significance of what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. and, and, what, and this man who talked to me yesterday in the cafe, what, what sort of a life does he lead and what kind of a world does he live in? And, uh, and then finding a way to make that sort of interesting to other people, and that that's communication, and that's what we seem to be doing less and less of. Oh. Yeah. Is that one specifically reason for your Ted Simon Foundation? Yes, it is absolutely. Yes, it's it's to try to get people to to take their journeys more seriously, if you like. I don't mean make them more boring or, or make them grimmer or anything, but just just to, to think a bit more about what is going on around the around them in the world and then finding a way to to express that information, to to bring it home and share it with other people. That's what we would like to do. Yeah. Yesterday you you were talking about um, sharing a different view of the world, the, the reality to, um, to share the reality, what it is like to live in other countries, what the people are really about, not what the media is telling us. Yes. Is this um, right now in, in this time where we have a lot of struggle in the world, um, what, what do you think? How, how much is the importance to, to get the people out there by themselves, having a picture of by their own? It's very important. It's, it's important for them, but of course there will always be only a few of us doing it. But it's even more important that they should come back 
and tell people in the pub or the restaurant or the cafe or wherever they are um, what it was really like. Because even though there is no, for example, we, there is undoubtedly there, there is a terrible situation in Syria. There are people killing each other. And, and it's very difficult to think of Syria except as a bloodbath. You know, that's all you think. But I'm quite sure that if, um, if one of us went to Syria, even now, there, there's every possibility that they would find themselves in a place where there was almost nothing happening, where it was just ordinary life. And, and you would find out that, that you would hear opinions expressed about who was doing the fighting and why they were doing the fighting, and it might not be at all what you get from reading the newspapers. Um, there was a man here yesterday who had just spent a lot of time in Iran and he came back with a description of the people in Iran um, that uh, that probably contradicts the, the, the prejudices that most people would have about it, which is not to say that, it, that the, there isn't a very repressive extreme government running Iran, of course, the, you know, and, that, and I know that the governments in Iran have done terrible things and thousands of people have died and people have been tortured and so on. But for, there's also this other side, you know, of, uh, and it, it gives you hope because if there are, if the majority of the people in Iran are, as this man said, um, <clears throat> clear thinking, open-minded, very well educated people, there's every possibility that sooner or later Iran will change again, you know, and uh, these are things we, we really need to know so that, <clears throat> so that we can't be led by the nose by, by, by governments wanting to get us involved in, fight, in wars that have no real basis in, in, re in reality, yes, that's very important. Uh, <clears throat> so you have achieved a lot in your life so far. Are there any more dreams or goals you want to fulfill? Well, it's nice that you say I've achieved. I, I actually never set out to achieve anything. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just set out to do what I can do. Um, and, uh, and, and I'm surprised that I've been able to write the books that I, I mean... I measure my life in books, really. Um, not so many. Some people write one a year or two a year. I write one every five years or more. But, um, but I've been doing this for a long time now, and I don't feel any need to have a plan. I've got no, I have no, no plans for the future at all. The only, the, the only plan I've got is to go and see what it's like on the, on the Greek islands, because um, that's the one European country I don't know, and it's probably the most important because it's where we were all, Western civilization began, so it's crazy that I don't know it. Um, people are always telling me it's too late, it's too late, you can't go, everything's changed, it's all ruined, and so on, but I have to do the best I can.